Hey, y'all looking for that good crispy pan seared salmon recipe? Well, look no further, folks. We got it right here. We're going to get that so crispy, so good. But we're throwing in a lot of great flavors with some herbs and a lemon butter sauce that goes in there with some cherry tomatoes. It is fine dining. You ain't got to get in the car and go to the restaurant. We're going to show you how to do it at home. So come on. I done got him caught, got him in the boat, and fitting to put him on the fire. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the garden on a hot, muggy day it is. Whew, so if you see a little perspiration running off here, don't think nothing about it. It ain't raining. But hey, what are we talking about? Pan-seared salmon. We're going to doctor it up a little too. And we're going to have us some of them good cherry tomatoes that go with this. But the secret of this really is to me the crispness of the skin on that salmon and the crisp topping that you get. And it's easy. And also what? It is healthy. They say it's high in them, what you call it? Omega threes, fours, fives, nines, and twelves. So we be needing all of it. And I ask you to stick around because we're gonna pay a very special tribute to a young man. So don't run off and leave us. You'll be wanting to see this. Let's get started cooking some salmon. So let's talk about this salmon fillets. And Shannon's got on to me many times, and so did some of you viewers when I used to say salmon. But hey, it's probably gonna happen again today. Now we got us about two six ounce fillets here and you wanna make sure you take that salmon out to where it is coming up to room temperature before you ever cook it. And then you wanna pat it dry with a paper towel, which we've done. And then I want you to turn it over and I want you to just take a little squeeze with your hand to where you cuff it up, roll it tight. And I just want you to run that knife down there just a little. I'd say maybe half inch. Now what that's gonna help do with this right here is keep it from curling up as it cooks, but we're gonna be able to get more seasoning down in there. So let me get this other side. And while this is going on, if you got a burner in the house or you're doing it on the grill, put that skillet on there and let's get it hot. Let's take a little just regular coarse sea salt. And I want you to get it down in there because salmon does love some of that salt. And Dookie says, I love salmon. The big is up there in the shade. He says he ain't coming out till we got her near done. Then I want you to take some of this Red River Ranch original. We're gonna put just a little pepper in them cracks too. I want you to just sort of rub it all in there. Turn him back over. Let's take the original because folks, this has a little citrus base to it, so it's really gonna help this salmon out. Pat it in really well. And now them little babies is ready to go. Well, we got our field skillet over here preheating, and I want you to take that cast iron skillet and remember preheat, then we're gonna add the oil. If you start it out the other way where you add the oil and put it over here, you're gonna burn the oil before that skillet gets good and hot. So we got her over there, we're gonna put about a tablespoon and a half or a little more in there, and which is probably about that much. What kind of oil do you like? To use? I like to use avocado oil, but if you ain't got that, you can use some olive oil. That is fine with me. Now I hope that your kitchen is a little more leveler than mine is outside this morning, but we're gonna go with it. Remember, we're gonna start out with this skin side down. Hear that sound? That is a good sound. That's what you call a sizzle. And I just want you to leave it in there. Don't mess with it, don't touch it. You can look at it for about two to three minutes right here on this side, and then we're gonna flip it. But while you got that, I need you to take your spatula and just flatten it down just a tad. That'll ensure that good crispy crust too. What, you ain't got one of these? Well, hey, you know where to get them. www.kentrollins.com. Made in America right there. Who in Wellington, Texas? Mesquite spatulas. Two to three minutes. If you need to set a timer, you can. But you'll notice as this salmon gets to cooking, it'll begin to change colors and you'll know, you can see it as it creeps through there. Then we're gonna turn it over and add us some herbies. Well, folks, we've been on about three minutes on this side, so it is time to flip it. And you could see it was changing colors there a little. So get your little spatula, turn it over. Look at that, that's what we're after on that crust. And at this time, I need you to reduce your heat to about medium low. That's why I love a hasty bake grill, because what are we doing? We can crank her down to the medium low level. Rich and them do such a good job with these grills. If you hadn't seen them, I ask you to check them out. How are we gonna bring some more flavor out of all this? I want you to put you some garlic in there, take you some of that thyme, put it in there also. 
some of that there rosemary and about two tablespoons of butter. I need you just to go ahead and tilt that skillet to where you can get to it and just go to basting it with some of that good butter and these herbies that's all in there. Now folks, you need to let that stuff cook for about three minutes and just get back under here. See that good crust we even got on the top. Get them over here and just let them set on this side and sort of rest. Push your little herbies and garlics all down there to the corner. And now at this time, I'd like you to take them cherry tomatoes, go ahead and slice them in half and that other two tablespoons of butter I need you to put right down in here in the bottom of this. Go ahead and let's add them tomatoes. And folks, if you ain't never cooked with some of these little cherry tomatoes in a dish, they bring out such a great flavor. And y'all see me pick them right fresh out of the garden. Now, while that's going there too, we need to take that lemon and remember that trick I showed you where you just roll it around there, makes that juice come out even better. And I wanna put a little right down here and go ahead all fish need a little lemon it does but you can hear that acid as it hits it's beginning to cook take that spatula roll it around in there mm. well folks you see me add them cherry tomatoes and put them capers in there remember we went down to medium low heat on that there hasty bake Well, it is about a done deal, it is. Now, a lot of you be saying, I don't like the skin on my salmon. Well, it was on there for a reason, it was. It kept him warm in the winter, yes it did. But also, hey, that is a barrier, so we're not gonna burn this stuff, but I like that skin to be good and crispy, that's why we cut them scores in it. But you can sure take it off, use this same method, just don't cook it as long that first time around or you'll burn that bottom. But remember to baste when you turn it back over, move it to medium low heat and you're good to go. And ain't it such a pretty dish? This is some of that again, Michelin five tire dining cause we got them Michelin tires out. So I'm gonna take me a little bite of this, right here I am. Mm, hear that crunch? <clears throat> Make me want to do the swim and the salmon jiggle. Woo! Mm. Look at here. See all that good moisture and that just flaky little old salmon in there? And that skin so crispy and good. Mm. Folks, when you compare this with that rice, but them cherry tomatoes and capers, Add so much to this deal, and it's so easy to do. I mean, it is some fine dining. Well, I wanna thank y'all for participating out here today. Duke, you didn't do much. After we first got started, you went back and got in the shade. But there's my little culinary rosicle right there, the big. Y'all be loving some salmon, don't you? There you go, it's a big bite for a big dog. One more for you, baby pup. Thank y'all so much for helping out. Y'all, and y'all are healthy. You're getting your omega-3, 4s, 9s, and 12s. Uh-huh, I mean, good for your hair and your coat it is. Well, folks, that is a done deal and it is some fine dining it is. Everything we use will be down there in the little link below as always, Shannon, Andy, she got y'all covered. But folks, I wanna pay a special tribute to this one, Brian Cooper Mount. Now, he was in the 82nd Airborne over there and he was killed July 21st. Now, as him and his brother, they always used to watch our videos and they did religiously. And one of the last things that his brother told me they talked about was that ultimate foot long hot dog and how much they looked forward to it. Now folks, we lose a lot of great soldiers, men, women, all branches of the service. But we need to remember, them folks are over there doing a sacrifice, doing a job, and we need to always lift them up in prayer, tip that hat and be respectful because that's what them folks do. We got this email from his brother and 
it does touch our heart. Dylan, we thank you so much for this. And my heart goes out to, to you and his wife and the family and the two pups that always watch there. Uh, we just appreciate y'all so much. But this is a special young man. I ask you not to forget him, but also ask you not to forget all those who serve. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers daily and lift them up because they need it. Remember, this is a place where you can come, gather around our table, and we're all friends and family. We hope you enjoyed this because we sure did. And we'd like to invite you in every Wednesday at 2.30 because we're going to have another one. And God bless you, each and every one. And I'll see you down the Seared Salmon Trail.